Love you guys. Remember, we're getting gold tomorrow. Well, while the boys are having a bit of a scratch around, uh, so am I, and uh, we're just scratching around on top of this pile. It's already been scratched around before. Who did that? You? No? Have a listen to what we've got here. Does that sound good, boys? Yeah. We're just going to ground balance off the side here on the same tailings pile. So look, that is every chance of being our first bit of gold. And I really hope so. It has been, um, well, look, we've been out a few times, a few times on camera, a few times off camera. And that is all part of the gold game. It's not easy. The boys do know that too. And I knew that coming into it, as I said before in the past. But look, to find a good spot, like what we're in now, and even though it's previously have been, well, there's holes everywhere. There's been a lot of work done here with the detectors recently, uh, and also with the miners back in the day. So looking around, seeing holes everywhere, well, I'm not deterred. It just means that it's a good spot. Someone else is having a good scratch around in here as well. Oh, look at that. We got him out. It did not take long at all. Probably shouldn't have dug so far down. Let's have a look. Into the hole. What we might do too, there he is, he's in that handful right there. We're going to uh, set the camera up, two hands, the tripod, because I need two hands to find what's in that pile. Fingers crossed everybody for it to be gold. Righto boys, you ready? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh that sounds very nice. We just took a... The, uh, look, the layer was up sort of here, and I got the ever so slightest signal. So I literally just scratched off the surface, and the signal increased. So I knew there was something worth going after. In this ground, I tell you, I wouldn't expect it to be anything but gold. Let's have a look. Not that guy. Let's have a look. This is exciting. Ready? Hold on to your fingers, Dom. And cross your fingers, I should say. All right, he's out. He's out of the scoop. Is he in this dirt? No? Oh! Well, there we go. First bit of lead shot for the day, boys. I really thought that was going to be gold. We weren't too far down, but we're in the right ground. But there we are. First lead shot. What do we say? 27 to go? 27. Yep. Just like last week. Let's keep going. Boy. Yep. Well, Zave's just asked there, uh, what's this here, Dad? Uh, what's the whiteness sticking out of the wall? Uh, because you can see the red clay there. Uh, that is also clay, Z uh, Zedman, but that is called pipe clay. You know why it's called pipe clay? Um, no idea. They make pipes out of it. Remember the old clay pipes that uh, we've dug up in the past, a few of them? Yeah. Uh, I've got on display in my display case at home. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them always been broken, uh, but that's where it gets its name, a pipe clay. Uh, from them making the uh, the clay pipes out of it back in the day. So who knows, we may even find one today, not with a detector, uh, but having a bit of a scratch around, which, uh, look, I thought I was onto a pretty good spot here. You can see hole there, hole here, scratchings over there. Uh, we've only been going for about 20 minutes, but there is a lot of work being done here recently with detectors and also rakes and, uh, well, there's another hole. There's just holes everywhere. So someone's really been having a field day here and we're gonna see if we can pick up on a bit of gold also. Oh, ho, ho. check this big cut out. How's about that, boys? Very cool. I can even see a shaft down the bottom. How cool is that? Oh, shaft in the side. That's awesome. God, they did some work, didn't they? This is all dug out with what you're holding right now. Not you, Dom, not a stick, but a pick. Are you really going to go down there, are you? Mm. <laughs> we might go down there and have a bit of a scratch around, a bit of a detect. I'm sure it's been done many times before. Look, oh, there's another scraping over the side there on the sidewall. We want to go a bit further down and, and it sort of dips down into a creek, into a gully, and that's where I'm heading, down into the gully. Uh, however, we might just shoot along that top bank there first. There is just diggings scattered all through here. Such rich ground. Let's keep going. All right, boys, where are we? We're in the hole. We're in the hole. 
the boys that led me down here, they said, Dad, can we go check it out? We were sort of, um, well, we were up there. We circled around the top. And we seen a heap of scrapings and, uh, well, we could not get away from this hole. The boys were like, Dad, we're going to go have a look. So here we are. Um, there's a hole, boys. Another hole in a hole. Oh, you got your light, have you? Oh, let's have a look again. Oh, we can't see much more. I'd crawl in there, but if something happens to me, how are you guys going to get home? Oh, it's pretty cool though. I would honestly go in there with the detector and have a bit of a poke around. Because look at this. Look at that nice mineralised quartz stone, slate layer. Perfect, perfect gold bearing ground. Just don't know how stable that is. And as I said, I'm the only adult here today, so I need to be responsible. You could drive home anyway, couldn't you? You know how to drive. Look, here's another one. Jeez, that did some work. Now that one, I definitely probably wouldn't go in. Definitely probably wouldn't. <laughs> I probably would. Uh, good torch and a rope, or you know, good torch at least, and someone outside the hole here. Uh, I would definitely go in there and have a look. What do you reckon, boys? Yeah, that ain't that bad. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be able to squeeze in there. So, do not me look at that. Beautiful. All the clay, slate. So it's slate coming down straight there with all the quartz rounded on top. Another shaft over here, boys. And once again, someone down here with a detector having to scrape away. So that shaft, I dare say, has collapsed and filled in a bit. Can't see any more. I would go in there, but with a rope and a way back out. And a way back out. And Zaz, what's on the back wall there, mate? Uh, pipe clay. Pipe clay. Why do they call it pipe clay? Well done, you've learned something today. Same as you, you remember? Excellent work. Well, another scratching up here. So just amazing. Someone's done a lot of work around here with a detector. And it's good to see. It's not deterring me at all. It's just good to see because it shows that if someone else has done this much work, well, there has to have been gold here. So you can really see the diggings drop away as soon as you get over this hill. They've got a few other little pilot holes out here, test holes. But as you go up the gully and up the hill, up the other hill, they really do drop away. The gully, though, I want to get to is right down the base there. I'm going to go there next and have a bit of a look. So what do you see? Kangaroo. Uh, wallaby. Wallaby. A wallaby. Do you know what the difference between wallaby and kangaroo is? They want to be. Hey. They want to be each other. A wallaby wants to be a kangaroo, but he's not big enough. Exactly. <laughs> he's a wannabe. He's a wannabe kangaroo. This is, sounds good, mate. Mm. I know I've been saying it's gold on every target. Yeah. Let's tip that quarter forward a bit. All right, he's over in that back corner. We're getting a fair way down. Uh, all the lead bullets that we found this morning, we haven't found them that deep. So this could be gold. Go swinging too hard and hit it. Well, not so much hit it, Break. more knock it out of there. And then I've knocked it back into the pile. I've got to go through all my pile of tailings again. See all this. We can get rid of that. All oh, rubbish. Oh, this is sounding good. Let's take the um, threshold back. He's in that nice, real nice, hard clay. So, take this back. Fingers crossed, boys. Dom, cross your toes. I can't see them crossed. They are. They are. Good boy. Hey, you're getting dirt on me. Well, let me know if it's a bit of gold. If it hits you. Well, I'll just keep it. Do mind then. Probably end up yours anyway. Maybe. See if we can get him out on that, eh? This can't be a bullet. Never Although, say that. I've said that before. Yeah, that was a bullet. No, it's a bit of steel. Oh.
Oh, that sounds good. Let's just see what the pinpointer does, just out of interest. The pinpointer can pick on it's a decent size. She's right in the back corner there. Now you know it's not too small for the pinpointer to pick up. Here's a gold though. Let's open that back wall out a bit. That's like the um, Netflix show that me and Dom watch. Is it cake? Is it gold? Is it gold? Yeah. Well, unless it's pie, right? It's not going to be like that show. Because uh, on that show... It's cake. On that show, it's either cake or it's not cake. Right there, in that corner. Very handy. I reckon that's got him. One more swing. You gotta break the pick before you get the goal. No. These picks are pretty strong, mate. You started the mine shaft. I have. You got enough for someone to twist their ankle in. Make sure we fill the hole in. Yeah. All right. Oh, moment of truth. What is that? That's something. That's dirt. A little bit of waves through the detector too. Blanking it out. Oh, there we go. That is a cool find. I was saying there this morning, Zave, to you. The thing about gold detecting, you never know what you're going to dig up. Got a little four-hole button. That's awesome. Our first relic for the day. Apart from a couple of little square head nails. Yeah. So not gold, but still a cool find. And I'm pretty happy to take that one home. Not gold, button. Button. How awesome. Wonder what we got. What are you doing, dog? Talking to your audience. Yeah. That's a coil. That's the handle. And that's like where the battery goes in. That's the board and also right here is where you adjust the length of it. Okay. And then this one, I don't remember what that does. Are oh, you telling your audience what the detector and then does? You basically have this stick. The shaft. That's the shaft. The shaft. The shaft. And then you have where your arm goes through it. And then your hand goes to touch that. And yeah. Through the arm cuff? Mm -hmm. The arm cuff. I don't really know what all this is called. Wow, still there. Oh, this is long. Hopefully, this is gold. Is it gold? Is it's not, it's not, is it cake? It's, is it gold? Mm. Not is it cake, it's is it gold. Sure We're at a good depth too. We're in a tailings pile. Mm -hmm. Made by a miner. I wonder if it's another miner's button. A button? Yeah. How'd they keep their pants up? If they're losing all their buttons. Maybe they had well, to push them. They'd be pushing their buttons from the grave. Alright, boys, we've got him out. Good. Dad out. Good. Got him wet. Now let's see if we got gold. You're a cracker, dog. What a cracker. Yeah. And also, please don't cut me out doing this when you're editing. It won't. Yeah, that's actually 
That's a bit of melted glass right there. How's that coming out of the hole? How did that get here? Hmm. All right, is in my hand. Melted glass. Pretty cool. Is he out of my hand? Melted glass. I bet not. Coil's on an angle. I lose him again. Again? Again. <gasps> it's in that little... It's in that, um... Rock. Is it a bondage? No, it's a rock. Is it a rock or is it a bit of rust? A bit of both. That was rust. <laughs> oh dear. That's rust. Down there, I think it's rust. Ever so close, but ever so far. Mm. So close. It's alright, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Oh, Nana's calling. She's going to be wondering where you boys are. Yeah. Oh, she's going to ask if she can pick us up today. Not That's now. We're out the bush. I think we're going Get to on to the next. just for some lunch and a break. Oh, I can't wait. Here you can. Dom's in the rain. Dad's got a target. Okay. <coughs> Dad's got a target here. No idea what it is. How about we say it's not going to be gold? And chances are it might be. Uh, hmm, maybe. Maybe gold? Maybe gold. Maybe gold! The only problem is, mate, let's go be careful we don't lose him down the back of the hole there. Yeah. Because then you'll be... I reckon he's out. The only problem is... Where? I'm seeing that bit of rust, sort of looking dirt there. I think we have rust again. Hey, stop trying to detect me! Okay, so he's still actually there. Oh! Still actually right there, I think. If you think so. Oh! Just gotta not, um. Not lose him down the hole. I said knock out dirt down the hole if we can help it. And not fall in the hole as much as possible. Honestly, we're, we're knocking him down the hole here. I think he's out. He's loose. Pinpoint is going to be useless. Like always. Oh? Uh, just hit the, hit, it. hit the rock. Unless it's a metal target, you're really probably not going to hit on it if it's gold. Get the boot out of the way. Wind's starting to pick I up. promise. What's the time? Uh, it's not oh, much. It's nearly one o'clock. Hell. We've only been out here for two hours. I promise we'll go for a break soon, though. I'll get your boys something to eat. Oh, how am I going to do this? No idea. <laughs> Don't want to lose it down the hole if I can help it. The hole's disappearing. Yeah, there ain't much left. Well, the ledge is disappearing, I should say. wonder why no one's dug it. Maybe Doug came and dug it. If it's like it keeps moving. Is it magic gold? It seems to be off to the side here now. Maybe it's an ant that's carrying gold to its queen. The ant's just wandering the gold all over the place, do you reckon? Yep. Maybe they're I hate to do it, but let's just knock that down the hole. Goodbye. Oh, there's an ant. Oh, no. Did we knock our signal down? Yeah, you did. I think we did. What we're trying to avoid. No. <laughs> All right, there's nothing for it. Hold my beer. I'm holding your phone instead. Can't see nothing. Test it. 
Done this a hard way, haven't I? A very hard way. Well, didn't, didn't mean for it to fall down the hole. Though. I was trying to avoid that. A little more digging on the side, you would have got it. <laughs> Lucky. Now, Dom, is it great cake? Is it gold? No, it's cake. Has to be gold. Please, please, All this please. trouble, and what if it's not gold? Imagine that. What is it? Is it gold? I know I've said this a thousand times. Lead bullet. Is it gold? 25 left. How did he get down so far? 25. Into that dirt. Who knows? Well, how cool is this one, boys? We just located the bottle pit. And this is uh, where all the miners were throwing their bottles by the looks back in the day. Uh, very, very cool. No doubt it's been dug out before by the bottle clubs. No doubt um, we'll only find broken bottles. A very good place, though. Uh, look, if you had a coin relic machine now today, which I do actually, I've got it in the boot. Uh, well, you could easily detect this area because a lot of the time out in the bush here you come across these sites where you find a lot of broken glass uh, it will also well you can lead yourself onto the relics and a lot of gold detectorists they stay away from these areas because they're so trashy where they're dumping their bottles they're often dumping wire and tin and uh, bricks and just you name it everything so uh, look a good place to come back i'm going to drop a waypoint on this and a good place to come back and hunt around with the equinox see if we can pull out a little button or something cool so someone's been doing a bit of work here though, once again, scratching around and um, even camping beside by the looks. Got all the new bottles there. Unbelievable. One thing for the miners to dump back in the day, uh, but this is another thing here. This, uh, yeah, look, there's no excuse for it. So, what are you found, Zaz? An armchair. Yeah, there's just no excuse for that sort of stuff. Absolutely no excuse. Shocking. And look, there's a card over the back there too. This is where it gets interesting. Oh. Cole's Group and Myers gift card. Uh, so there's no name, obviously, but... Oh, dear. Why would you? You know, if you can't go to the tip and dump your local rubbish, I'll tell you what, there's something bloody wrong. Never mind. It's not us anyway. We just have to put up with it and see it. Disgraceful. All right, well, we made it back to the car. The boys are just having a bit of a feed, tucking out on some chips and coke and all the energy food they need. And uh, look, I've made a bit of an executive decision just walking back here. We did do quite a walk too. We went sort of right around. I know it's hard to see, but we went up the hill, uh, right down into the gully, right down into the uh, uh, chopped out section. And we come, well, we actually end up coming back out on the road here. I knew the car was somewhere along here. We popped out on the road about a couple of hundred metres that way. So we walked through all this thick scrub bush uh, to get back. And I'll tell you what, well, Dom was trailing behind there a fair bit, wasn't he, Zave? So I had to, had to keep up for Dom. He was uh, getting lost in the bush. And Zave's just found something really cool. Where is it, Zave? I'm, I'm trying to spot him, mate. And just keeping his eyes out as we're back at the car here. What have you found, buddy? Ten cents. Ten cents. So we've got no gold, but uh, Zave has spotted himself a ten cent coin planted in the ground there. I'm not going to pick him up. Do you want to touch him? You want to grab him? Thanks. That's really cool. That is really cool. You can see the impression where he's been laying. So, and I even can see just a one and a zero, I reckon. Or maybe I, my eyes are deceiving me. Let's have a look, hang on. Oh, maybe I'm just seeing things. One and a zero, 10 cent coin. How cool is that? That from the mining days? Miner dropped that one? 2010. Uh, well, maybe not then. Yeah, maybe, not. <laughs> maybe, maybe one of us miners with a detector. <coughs> so, and look, as I said, we're going to get off the 6,000. Just for now, we will get back on it this afternoon. I do want to go grab some pay dirt as well. Uh, we've got the pans and the classifier in the boot. So we're going to take some pay dirt home and pan it off, which is always fun. Uh, but we're going to put the 6,000 away just for now, and we're going to bust out that uh, Equinox 900. As I said, I made the decision just walking back here that we're just going to scare around where those bottles are and just see if we can pick up anything cool. And we've got no gold thus far. Uh, that is uh, basically some stuff from the other week. Uh, but our little bottle here that we've collected this morning, well, it looks very much the same. Uh, we've got big chunks of rust, and a couple of big chunks of rust there somewhere. And we've got a lot of little lead bullets. Let's tip them out. So that, whoop, one's still stuck in there. A nail. We're going to leave them in there. Oh, we're going to lose our, lose our lot. So we've got a little miner's button. We've got some bullets. And we've got the old square head nail, or the, the, um, the square type nail. Really cool. I don't know what this piece is. 
little tiny piece. He's got a little screw head on the end. And uh, once again, we even found that little tiny screw piece. So we're really hitting on the small targets and that is what you want to see, you know. Uh, you want to see oh, gold ideally, uh, but that is not, look, it's just a hard game, it really is. And it's been, these grounds have been going over and over and over again. I'm certain there's gold still here. And we just need to be lucky enough to find it. And you're gonna have plenty of days out in the bush where you're not finding anything. And uh, well, that is quite okay with me because Look at this place. I mean, where else would you rather be? We're pretty lucky guys to be out here right now, aren't we? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're learning stuff as we go. Dom, you've still got that glass, have you? Is that what you got in your hand? Yeah. You still picked up the glass and brought it back. I was doing that because I said you missed one thing. Oh. The melted glass. The melted glass. I'm keeping it. You're keeping it? And Zave's learned how to balance a Coke can on his head. So look, no... No, no, that's got Coke still in it. So look, no gold today, just yet. Again, uh, that is just the uh, the gold game for you. So, and you see there, once again, all our little lead pallets and rusty nails and bullets and a couple of blue stone rocks that gave a signal. Uh, look, we are trying. So no gold, but not for the lack of trying, that's for certain. So anyway, we're going to put the 6,000 away now. We can take the car uh, down this road, down this track, a couple of k's and the, uh, the the bush track sort of hooks back in and we should be able to drive almost right to the bottles what do you reckon instead of walking back through the bush yep. so what do you find another 10 cents no, oh all right well, we're gonna uh, pack up and uh, we will see you there there's two paths to take there is two paths tricky, to take tricky road. well which one do we take um the one that's gonna break your car <laughs> <laughs> if we're a full drive we'd go up that one we're not let's go up this one. Oh, she's a bit wet there Bush bashing in the Commodore. Can we make it? Yes, we can, kind of. Oh, it's very rutted out up the top here. What's that track? Where does that go? It goes nowhere. Can we make it up here? Yes. That goes to probably destroy your Commodore. Commodore. Commodore? What's a Commodore? So, we're going back to where the bottles are. But nothing looks familiar. I did drop a waypoint on the on the marker, but I think it wow, oh, heaps more rubbish. God, there's so much rubbish dumped hey, out more here. Wallabies. More wannabes. No, they're kangaroos. Oh really? Yep. Why is it when I think it's a wallaby, it's a kangaroo? We better find a spot to park the car because we can't go any further. Really? Look at the track, it's all blocked off. Oh it is too. Alright, so we're gonna have to walk from here. But you know what boys? We're closer than where we were before. So let's park the car. Let's jump out and go for a hike again. There's a the wannabe boys, straight out of the car. He's looking at me. Can you see him? What you doing buddy? Not even scared. Can you see him? Walk around here. No, don't oh. do that. <laughs> Walk around here and he runs off. <laughs> he's still, he's hiding behind the tree. See that? He's like, you can't see me. I'm hiding behind the tree. Wow, look more rubbish. He's just there. I can't see, he's like, oh, if you can't see me, I can't see you. He's right behind the tree. Behind that tree. Can you see him? Maybe go around. <laughs> Maybe no, come around here. Around here. Walk around here. You'll be able to get a better look. You got him? We should be We should be detecting, not mucking around with wannabes. <laughs> Cracky kids. This is what it's all about. Making memories. Absolutely. The gold. Honestly, I want I want to find the gold. The gold really is just a bonus though. Because look at this. So let's come around this side. Come around here. Can you get him? Oh, great picture. Snap, quick, snap. Oh, you're recording. Go say good day to him. What's his name? You gonna name him? Jeremiah. I'm gonna call him Bob. <laughs> I'm calling him 
What's his name, Dom? I'm calling him Ari's. Ari's. Yeah. Well, there goes Ari's. There goes Bob. Righto, come on. Let's us go now and let's get on the detector because we are wasting time. Time moves so quick when you're out in the gold fields too. Well, I think we're on the money, boys. We've finally found where we need to be. Just one thing I'll say too. Look, it's not deter uh, deterring me. Uh, but it also is quite obvious. Uh, let's just put this down here. It's quite obvious. Yeah, we're just over the back there, mate. It's quite obvious just how many scrapings are in here. Like, there's one there. There's one there. There's a fresh one over there. Uh, there's one here. Uh, someone's pulled apart this whole tailings pile here. Had a good go and a scratch around. You can see where they've raked it out. Uh, look, and I've seen that all throughout this bush. Uh, tailing piles with holes in them. Uh, once again, someone's pulled that pile apart. Uh, look, what I'm trying to say is I'm not deterred, another hole there, I'm not deterred by any means, I'm coming back to this uh, spot, but there's just had so much work done here, so what I'm thinking uh, is someone is coming here every weekend, look at that, this, uh, this area's been raked, uh, someone's coming here every weekend and getting good gold, and uh, I do know someone who potentially comes up around this area, so I'm going to be talking to him and asking him uh, if he's been here, because I know he does a lot of raking, a lot of pushing, shoving uh, of the trees and the rocks and getting it all out of the way uh, so we can attack fresh ground. So it looks like his work to me. Look, scratching there, scratching there, old hole there. Someone's pulled apart this pile here, that pile there, that pile there, this pile over the back here. It's just everywhere you look. This pile here has been pulled apart everywhere you look. And as I said, it's not deterring me away from there away from here uh, it's not deterring me it's just making me think that um well there is good gold still here to find more scrapings another hole another hole another hole <laughs> they're everywhere so anyway we're back here again another day uh, with uh, with andrew with both gold machines and we'll attack it a little bit further and i'm going to ask me mate david uh, is he coming out here as well look that pile's been pulled apart too so if he is i'm going to uh come out here with him another hole there that's not me. It almost looks actually, some of this is that fresh, it almost looks like we're on the trail of, a, of another detectorist this morning. So, interesting. Anyway, we're on the bottles now, we found them. All we had to do was walk to the waypoint that I dropped, and bingo, here we are. So, let's have a bit of a scout around Equinox, see if we can pick up a few rusty nails, a couple of cool buttons, uh, just see what comes of this uh, really trashy area before we get out of here and go get the pay dirt. Well, we've been walking the bush for, what, half an hour, boys? Trying to find this bottle pile. Uh, I did drop a waypoint, but I sort of didn't trust the waypoint because I didn't have the best service. So I thought it was leading me off a little bit. But eventually we walked to the waypoint, and uh, what did we find? We found the bottle pile. So I should have just trusted it to begin with. Uh, where we were down in the gully sort of thing, though, I did not think I had a good enough, a good enough GPS location had to exactly pinpoint where I was. I thought I was a little bit off when I marked it, but I just thought, well, we'll just try and find it the best we can. Well, we did that, but it took us about half an hour. And guess what? Nothing come of it. And we had the Equinox there. We were looking for buttons or coins or anything cool. Uh, we got nothing. So pays to check these things out though, and we will be back here once again. Uh, you did see all those scrapings before. And look, we're just off the road now, off the track. But look, they continue on. They are everywhere. There's either a team of men coming out here working every weekend, or it's just one man, and he's a powerhouse. And, uh, well, I think it's just one man. Look, there's another scraping. And a smiley face. Thanks, Sez. Because, uh, yeah, I know this bloke, and, well, he comes out and digs 200 holes a day. He really, really puts the effort in. At 6 a.m. he starts. At probably 6 p.m. he goes home, and he always finds gold. So, mind you... He's out every weekend, he's been doing it for years, he's got the 6,000, the 7,000, and uh, well, he, uh, he works, like a, works like a racehorse, put it that way. So, another smiley face. <laughs> that one's got a bit of a hook in the smile. Thanks mate. And look, you've done well, there's the car. I knew where it was. Well, that one looks like a drunk smile. A drunk Doug. All right, the man needs his pick. Get it out, get it out. Where is it? That's what Zay's been using all morning. I've got to get you a pick. Now, you want to tell everybody where we are, Dom? Why do you need the pick? Climb the mountain and just 
destroy the slate. Climb the mountain and what? Destroy the slate? Yeah. Oh, okay. Crack it, crack it in half. We are at a big dirt mountain with slate on it. Yep, it's called a Mullick. Mullick or something? Mullick heap. Mullick heap, yeah. You've learnt a lot today. So this is a mullet heap that we're going to be taking off, and this is a bit of a random one, I must say. Uh, to be honest, I was actually going to another spot that I know uh, has got good gold, and we often take a bit of stuff off there and take it home, pan it with the boys. Uh, but this one's a bit of a random. We drove past, and I said to the boys, come on, we'll just check it out quickly. Uh, and I just jumped out of the car, and I'm sort of wandering up here. And it's steep. It's very steep. But if I can get up here with a bucket and just chip away at the side here, classify a bit of that material. This has all been washed before, uh, I know that. But look, there's little specks of gold that you can get out of here, often. So we might try that and uh, see how we go. Oop, it's very steep. We're just slipping our way back down. So we might have to even build a little ledge to stand on and try and take out some of that dirt. And as I said, we'll take it home, pan it. It looks like someone else has been doing the same. You can see all those cutouts. You're not going to get to the top of that. Watch ya, I'll beat ya. Improbable. I'm coming up behind ya. He's coming, he's coming with one arm. One arm, he's got it, he's got it. Oh, oh good view. Here, take my strong hand. Oh, don't pull me back down. Quick, there's a spider down there. Hey Dom. There is a much easier way, we could have went that way. I wonder where the mine was, I wonder where the boiler was. Probably in amongst all that. Pretty cool though. Who doesn't love a big pile of dirt? Yeah, I just fell off the mountain. Take a little thing for you to stand on. I you. Stand there. You stand there. Just watch me do this. What cherry? Pay dirt. It doesn't look as good a pay dirt as where we were going. But, but you don't know. It'll be interesting to test it out and see what comes of it. Careful Dom. Because how did I find the um how did I find the good pile that I always go to? You tested it. Tested it. And over the years I worked out that it was quite good. Ow! Get me. I'm getting you a quartz am I? A slate. Yeah. I don't need a smaller pick. Too bad Dom has it. I oh, know. But he couldn't use the big one. I could. I can use the big one. Whoops, lost half our load. I feel like it's the wrong pan. Oh, what am I doing? I'm just going to put it in the classifier. Now you're getting big chunks of rock in there. My fault. I wasn't watching what I was doing. That's a bit sore today. Mm, I don't want my Not helping me. Oh, I just fell down a hill, so. You gonna carry this bucket down for me? Probably not. I just fell down a hill. You know what we should do too? Um, <laughs> uh, stuff. Well, just as a bit of a test. Destroy the slate. Take the pan, go do a bit of crevicing. We'll go, go to our good uh, gold spot. Go get a bit of gold in the pan and see what the difference is between wash material uh, and dirt that we dig up from underneath the rock mm. from the other spot. So we might even do that. Might go get another pan and see see the difference. Let's get this one down first. Okay. I mean, there's tons of buckets if you want them. So, what'd you do? What happened? Uh, I sort of fell down a hill. 
Yeah. Over the side there. Yeah. Give us a look at you. Lift her up. Oh, you don't need stitches, you're all right. Legs 11, whoa! Oh no! <laughs> there goes me bucket. This is a steep hill. What are we doing up here, boys? I'm doing a zaz. Luckily, I'm not injured. I did that on purpose. Right, well, we have tried our darndest today. We really have. We've worked our little hearts out. Our digging holes, trekking hills, our muller keeps. We've done it all today. No gold with the 6,000. Again, on the third venture out, but that's okay. Because we've had a lot of fun. Uh, the boys have had fun. We've climbed muller keeps. We've seen wannabe wallabies. We've seen kangaroos. Uh, what else have we seen? Broken bottles? Yeah. Rubbish dumped in the holes. Uh, we've had a lot of fun though. So, and the boys have learnt a lot today. And uh, look, we've even got some pay dirt in the boot to take home and pan off, which we'll do uh, either look this afternoon, tomorrow, and we'll make sure we'll give you guys a look at what's in that dirt. So, anyway, heading for home now, and time for a good uh, coffee and a good break. And I look forward to seeing you the next time. Cheers. See you next time. Cracker dog. Well done. See you next time.